catch me if you can. Former President François Bozizé taunting authorities at a campaign rally last week, despite an international arrest warrant for his involvement in mass killings and torture. The former president, currently under UN sanction for fomenting unrest after he was deposed in a coup in 2013, is not only back in the Central African Republic, but wants to become the country's next president with the slogan, the day has come. Except the country's constitutional court has now ruled he's not eligible to run in December's presidential election. His supporters are dismayed at the judge's ruling that he lacked both a clean criminal record and the moral character to be a candidate. It's a bit strange. The courts have never summoned him, neither has he been charged or sentenced. He has been the country's head of state for 10 years. It's a bit surprising to question his character. French troops intervened in 2013 after Bozizé fomented religious divisions, calling on Christian militia groups known as the Anti-Balaka to attack pro-government fighters known as the Selika. University student Umbia is relieved by the court's decision, fearing that Bozizé's candidacy could spark violence. The other candidates need to accept the court's decision so that we can move forward with the upcoming election and turn the page from violence. The campaign has so far been tense. Fourteen armed groups continue to fight the government and each other, despite a peace agreement in the presence of a 12,000-strong UN peacekeeping force. As a result, 2.8 million people are in need of humanitarian assistance and a million people are displaced. With former President Bozizé out of the race, many fear the reactions of his supporters, who still include armed militias. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.